Okay guys, welcome to another Addicting Arts tutorial. In this tutorial, you guys will learn how to create a YouTube template um, from scratch in Adobe Photoshop and using a couple different plugins. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial. It's very easy and if you know how to do it without reading or watching a tutorial, you can get it done within a couple minutes and have it customly fit your channel. So. If you don't have Firefox or Google Chrome, go into the description and click the links for download. And uh, when you're done with this uh, video, you can just uninstall them or whatever you want. I'm just going to begin by opening up Firefox after I have it downloaded. And I'm going to open up Google Chrome to show those guys. And I'm going to go in the description of the video. And I'm going to click on the correct add-on um, for whatever browser I'm using. Firefox uses Screen Grab. The current version is 0.96.3. And to add that on, just click Add to Firefox, obviously. And just click Install, which I already have it done, so I'm not going to do that. And then it'll ask you to restart it, and just click OK. If you're running Google Chrome, just click uh, the link in the description for that. And uh, click the blue Install button. And it will open up over here. without. You won't have to close out of anything or anything like that. But you can just, uh, it'll come up in the corner, it'll just be a little lens with the little rainbows in it or whatever. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up our YouTube channel. So go to youtube.com, log in, and then go to my channel. Now, next thing you'll want to do is go to themes and colors, click clean, and just click save. Once you have that done, you can just click the little icon right here. Click capture entire page, it'll scan up and down. Uh, if it looks good, so just click done, and it'll prepare your image. On Firefox, just do the same thing. Go to your channel, and just click the little screen grab icon down the corner. Click save. Click save complete page and frame, and just save it wherever you want. Now, once it's saved, and you have the image wherever you uh, put it, just open up Adobe Photoshop, go to File Open, and find the picture that works. So uh, here I have one and it is of my channel. Now I'm just going to stretch it out to fit. Zoom it in to about 150%. Unlock the background layer and scroll to the top. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the left. Now I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool which is this little uh, ant square thing right here. It might be on one of these other ones but just right click click rectangular marquee. Now, in the top left-hand corner, click and drag all the way to the right, and then drag down until the little uh, selection covers are just to the top of your channel design, and it'll be right underneath the gray box that holds themes and colors and stuff like that. Now just let go, right-click, click Select Inverse, and then go to Image, Crop, and it'll take out the top. Go to Select, Deselect to get rid of the selection, and go back to your pointer tool. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is begin by putting rulers on your channel. So just go to View and click Rulers, and that'll come up. And the next part of the tutorial will be to put guides along little boxes of your channel to give you, well, guides for the little shapes that you'll be creating for the template. So just begin by clicking on the ruler and dragging down and putting a little dotted line right above the module drag from the left of the rulers and put it on the edge and do that for every module on your channel until you have guides for everything once you have that done uh, you can begin the rest but I'll meet you guys back here in a minute and I'll have this all done peace okay guys I'm back and I have all the channel guides added as you can see all the little blue lines are right here with uh, covering all the different modules so the next step in the creating the template is to go over to the shapes tool which is right here just click that if it's on something else just right click click rectangular tool and let's just zoom back in I'm gonna put it about hundred fifty percent and begin in the top left hand corner of the picture again so here we go I'm back over here now I'm just, actually I got a fixed little guide it doesn't look too good but going to drag that to fix and then I'm going to go back to my rectangular marquee or not my rectangular marquee but my rectangular tool and I'm going to put the little cross right here where the two blue lines meet and all the little the little box will turn red when it matches up with the guides 
but the uh, rectangular tool will also snap to meet the guides so there's no guessing or anything. If you did the guides correctly, the boxes will do uh, will come out right. So here we go, just drag all the way across and all the way to the bottom, it'll snap. <clears throat> it'll create a new layer and that you can just name that now. So you can do like header or something along the lines. You don't have to either. Um, and then just go ahead and do that for every box. So here's here's the one for with all the videos, and I could I'll do the one for the other channels. And I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you back here in a second. I'll have all this done. Peace. Okay, guys. As you can see, I have all the boxes done on my channel. If you look in the layers panel, I got all of them named correctly. So if I want to change something, I can just go ahead and uh, click on it, and you'll know exactly what it is pretty quickly. Um, now that's your channel template, but if you want to see, it, make sure it fits correctly and see if you did it right. I suggest uh, trying it out on YouTube. So just go ahead and click the little eyeball next to the picture, and right above that, click a new layer. Now I'm just going to color that white by grabbing the paint bucket tool, selecting foreground as white, clicking the background, and there you go. Just go to File, Save As, I'm just going to put Channel Template Test dot JPEG, I'm just going to format JPEG or PNG, it doesn't really matter. Um, just click, I'm going to click Replace because I already did that, and just save it. Now go to your channel, click Themes and Colors, New Theme, Browse. Find it there. I just uh, it was saved at 11:23. Double click that. Wait for it to load. Make sure your both your transparencies are on 100%, so you can see the black boxes behind that. So now you can see it came up. All the boxes fit perfectly, and now this template is editable. So you can now create a nice YouTube background of that. If you need any tips on creating a nice background, just go onto my channel and look for text effects and everything like that. But for now, let's just go ahead and save this as a template. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As. I'm going to put Addicting Arts YouTube BG Template. Keep it as a PSD, keep it wherever you want, and go ahead and click Save. If you guys learned something from this tutorial, please let me know. Show me your background in the uh, by posting comment in the description or in the channel comments or in the video comments. If this video helped you, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you guys. Addicting Arts out.